The speed of sound is the distance traveled per unit time by a sound wave as it propagates through an elastic medium. At 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the speed of sound in air is about 343 meters per second 1,235 kilometers per hour, 1,125 feet per second, 767 miles per hour, 667 kn, or a kilometer in 2.9 s or a mile in 4.7 s. It depends strongly on temperature, but also varies by several meters per second, depending on which gases exist in the medium through which a sound wave is propagating. The speed of sound in an ideal gas depends only on its temperature and composition. The speed has a weak dependence on frequency and pressure in ordinary air, deviating slightly from ideal behavior. In common everyday speech, speed of sound refers to the speed of sound waves in air. However, the speed of sound varies from substance to substance. Sound travels most slowly in gases, it travels faster in liquids, and faster still in solids. For example, as noted above, sound travels at 343 meters per second in air, it travels at 1480 meters per second in water, 4.3 times as fast as in air, and at 5120 meters per second in iron, about 15 times as fast as in air. In an exceptionally stiff material such as diamond, sound travels at 12000 meters per second, 39000 feet per second about 35 times as fast as in air, which is around the maximum speed that sound will travel under normal conditions. Sound waves in solids are composed of compression waves, just as in gases and liquids, and a different type of sound wave called a shear wave, which occurs only in solids. Shear waves in solids usually travel at different speeds, as exhibited in seismology. The speed of compression waves in solids is determined by the medium's compressibility, shear modulus and density. The speed of shear waves is determined only by the solid material's shear modulus and density. In fluid dynamics, the speed of sound in a fluid medium, gas or liquid, is used as a relative measure for the speed of an object moving through the medium. The ratio of the speed of an object to the speed of sound in the fluid is called the object's Mach number. Objects moving at speeds greater than Mach 1 are said to be traveling at supersonic speeds. History Sir Isaac Newton computed the speed of sound in air as 979 feet per second, 298 meters per second, which is too low by about 15%. Newton's analysis was good save for neglecting the then unknown effect of rapidly fluctuating temperature in a sound wave. In modern terms, sound wave compression and expansion of air is an adiabatic process, not an isothermal process. This error was later rectified by Laplace. During the 17th century, there were several attempts to measure the speed of sound accurately, including attempts by Marin Mersenne in 1630, 1380 Parisian feet per second, Pierre Gassendi in 1635, 1473 Parisian feet per second, and Robert Boyle, 1125 Parisian feet per second in 1709. The Reverend William Durham, rector of Upminster, published a more accurate measure of the speed of sound, at 1,072 Parisian feet per second. Durham used a telescope from the tower of the Church of St. Lawrence, Upminster to observe the flash of a distant shotgun being fired, and then measured the time until he heard the gunshot with a half-second pendulum. Measurements were made of gunshots from a number of local landmarks, including North Ockenden Church. The distance was known by triangulation, and thus the speed that the sound had traveled was calculated. <laughs> <laughs> Basic concepts 
The transmission of sound can be illustrated by using a model consisting of an array of spherical objects interconnected by springs. In real material terms, the spheres represent the material's molecules and the springs represent the bonds between them. Sound passes through the system by compressing and expanding the springs, transmitting the acoustic energy to neighboring spheres. This helps transmit the energy in turn to the neighboring sphere's springs, bonds, and so on. The speed of sound through the model depends on the stiffness, rigidity of the springs, and the mass of the spheres. As long as the spacing of the spheres remains constant, stiffer springs, bonds transmit energy quicker, while larger spheres transmit the energy slower. In a real material, the stiffness of the springs is known as the elastic modulus, and the mass corresponds to the material density. Given that all other things being equal paribus, sound will travel slower in spongy materials, and faster in stiffer ones. Effects like dispersion and reflection can also be understood using this model, for instance, sound will travel 1.59 times faster in nickel than in bronze, due to the greater stiffness of nickel at about the same density. Similarly, sound travels about 1.41 times faster in light hydrogen, protium, gas than in heavy hydrogen, deuterium, gas, since deuterium has similar properties but twice the density. At the same time, compression type sound will travel faster in solids than in liquids, and faster in liquids than in gases, because the solids are more difficult to compress than liquids, while liquids in turn are more difficult to compress than gases. Some textbooks mistakenly state that the speed of sound increases with density. This notion is illustrated by presenting data for three materials, such as air, water and steel, they each have vastly different compressibility, which more than makes up for the density differences. An illustrative example of the two effects is that sound travels only 4.3 times faster in water than air, despite enormous differences in compressibility of the two media. The reason is that the larger density of water, which works to slow sound in water relative to air, nearly makes up for the compressibility differences in the two media. A practical example can be observed in Edinburgh when the 1 o'clock gun is fired at the eastern end of Edinburgh Castle. Standing at the base of the western end of the castle rock, the sound of the gun can be heard through the rock, slightly before it arrives by the air route, partly delayed by the slightly longer route. It is particularly effective if a multi-gun salute such as for the Queen's birthday is being fired. Topic: <laughs> Compression and shear waves. In a gas or liquid, sound consists of compression waves. In solids, waves propagate as two different types. A longitudinal wave is associated with compression and decompression in the direction of travel, and is the same process in gases and liquids, with an analogous compression type wave in solids. Only compression waves are supported in gases and liquids. An additional type of wave, the transverse wave, also called a shear wave, occurs only in solids because only solids support elastic deformations. It is due to elastic deformation of the medium perpendicular to the direction of wave travel. The direction of shear deformation is called the polarization of this type of wave. In general, transverse waves occur as a pair of orthogonal polarizations. These different waves, compression waves and the different polarizations of shear waves may have different speeds at the same frequency. Therefore, they arrive at an observer at different times, an extreme example being an earthquake, where sharp compression waves arrive first and rocking transverse waves seconds later. The speed of a compression wave in a fluid is determined by the medium's compressibility and density. 
In solids, the compression waves are analogous to those in fluids, depending on compressibility and density, but with the additional factor of shear modulus which affects compression waves due to off-axis elastic energies which are able to influence effective tension and relaxation in a compression. The speed of shear waves, which can occur only in solids, is determined simply by the solid material's shear modulus and density. Topic. Equations The speed of sound in mathematical notation is conventionally represented by c, from the Latin caleritus meaning, velocity. For fluids in general, the speed of sound c is given by the Newton-Laplace equation. c equals k s rho Display style c equals sqrt frac k underscore s rho, where k is as a coefficient of stiffness, the isentropic bulk modulus, or the modulus of bulk elasticity for gases. Rho is the density, thus the speed of sound increases with the stiffness, the resistance of an elastic body to deformation by an applied force of the material and decreases with an increase in density. For ideal gases, the bulk modulus K is simply the gas pressure multiplied by the dimensionless adiabatic index, which is about 1.4 for air under normal conditions of pressure and temperature. For general equations of state, if classical mechanics is used, the speed of sound c is given by c equals p rho s. Display style c equals sqrt left frac partial p partial rho right underscore s, where p is the pressure. Rho is the density and the derivative is taken isentropically, that is, at constant entropy s. If relativistic effects are important, the speed of sound is calculated from the relativistic Euler equations. In a non dispersive medium, the speed of sound is independent of sound frequency, so the speeds of energy transport and sound propagation are the same for all frequencies. Air, a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen, constitutes a non-dispersive medium. However, air does contain a small amount of CO2 which is a dispersive medium, and causes dispersion to air at ultrasonic frequencies greater than 28 kHz. .In a dispersive medium, the speed of sound is a function of sound frequency, through the dispersion relation. Each frequency component propagates at its own speed, called the phase velocity, while the energy of the disturbance propagates at the group velocity. The same phenomenon occurs with light waves, see optical dispersion for a description. <laughs> Dependence on the properties of the medium The speed of sound is variable and depends on the properties of the substance through which the wave is traveling. In solids, the speed of transverse or shear waves depends on the shear deformation under shear stress called the shear modulus, and the density of the medium. Longitudinal or compression waves in solids depend on the same two factors with the addition of a dependence on compressibility. In fluids, only the medium's compressibility and density are the important factors, since fluids do not transmit shear stresses. In heterogeneous fluids, such as a liquid filled with gas bubbles, the density of the liquid and the compressibility of the gas affect the speed of sound in an additive manner, as demonstrated in the hot chocolate effect. In gases, adiabatic compressibility is directly related to pressure through the heat capacity ratio adiabatic index, while pressure and density are inversely related to the temperature and molecular weight, thus making only the completely independent properties of temperature and molecular structure important. Heat capacity ratio may be determined by temperature and molecular structure, but simple molecular weight is not sufficient to determine it. 
In low molecular weight gases such as helium, sound propagates faster as compared to heavier gases such as xenon. For monatomic gases, the speed of sound is about 75% of the mean speed that the atoms move in that gas. For a given ideal gas the molecular composition is fixed, and thus the speed of sound depends only on its temperature. At a constant temperature, the gas pressure has no effect on the speed of sound, since the density will increase, and since pressure and density also proportional to pressure have equal but opposite effects on the speed of sound, and the two contributions cancel out exactly. In a similar way, compression waves in solids depend both on compressibility and density—just as in liquids. But in gases the density contributes to the compressibility in such a way that some part of each attribute factors out, leaving only a dependence on temperature, molecular weight, and heat capacity ratio which can be independently derived from temperature and molecular composition see derivations below. Thus, for a single given gas assuming the molecular weight does not change and over a small temperature range for which the heat capacity is relatively constant, the speed of sound becomes dependent on only the temperature of the gas. In non-ideal gas behavior regimen, for which the van der Waals gas equation would be used, the proportionality is not exact, and there is a slight dependence of sound velocity on the gas pressure. Humidity has a small but measurable effect on the speed of sound, causing it to increase by about 0.1% to 0.6%, because oxygen and nitrogen molecules of the air are replaced by lighter molecules of water. This is a simple mixing effect. Topic: <laughs> Altitude variation and implications for atmospheric acoustics. In the Earth's atmosphere, the chief factor affecting the speed of sound is the temperature. For a given ideal gas with constant heat capacity and composition, the speed of sound is dependent solely upon temperature, see details below. In such an ideal case, the effects of decreased density and decreased pressure of altitude cancel each other out, save for the residual effect of temperature. Since temperature, and thus the speed of sound, decreases with increasing altitude up to 11 km, sound is refracted upward, away from listeners on the ground, creating an acoustic shadow at some distance from the source. The decrease of the speed of sound with height is referred to as a negative sound speed gradient. However, there are variations in this trend above 11 km. In particular, in the stratosphere above about 20 km, the speed of sound increases with height, due to an increase in temperature from heating within the ozone layer. This produces a positive speed of sound gradient in this region. Still another region of positive gradient occurs at very high altitudes, in the aptly named thermosphere above 90 km. Topic. Practical formula for dry air The approximate speed of sound in dry humidity air, in meters per second, at temperatures near 0 degrees Celsius can be calculated from C A I R equals 331.3 plus 0 0.606 thm s display style c underscore mathrm air equals 331.3 plus 0 0.606 cdot var theta tilde 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 mathrm meter per second where th display style var theta is the temperature in degrees Celsius degree C. This equation is derived from the first two terms of the Taylor expansion of the following more accurate equation C A I R equals 
331.3 1 plus th273.15 m s Display style C underscore Mathem air equals three hundred thirty one point three tilde SQRT one plus FRAC var theta two hundred seventy three point one five tilde 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 Mathem meter per second Dividing the first part, and multiplying the second part, on the right hand side, by square root 273.15 gives the exactly equivalent form C A I R equals 20.05 TH plus 273.15 M S display style C underscore mathem air equals twenty point zero five tilde sqrt var theta plus two hundred seventy three point one five tilde 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 mathem meter per second, which can also be written as C A I R equals Twenty point zero five T K M S Display style C underscore Mathem air equals twenty point zero five tilde SQRT T K tilde 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 Mathem meter per second where T denotes the thermodynamic temperature the value of 331.3 meters per second which represents the speed at 0 degrees celsius or 273.15 k is based on theoretical and some measured values of the heat capacity ratio gamma as well as on the fact that at one atmosphere real air is very well described by the ideal gas approximation Commonly found values for the speed of sound at 0 degrees Celsius may vary from 331.2 to 331.6 due to the assumptions made when it is calculated. If ideal gas gamma is assumed to be 7 fifths equals 1.4 exactly, the 0 degrees Celsius speed is calculated see section below to be 331.3 meters per second, the coefficient used above. This equation is correct to a much wider temperature range, but still depends on the approximation of heat capacity ratio being independent of temperature, and for this reason will fail, particularly at higher temperatures. It gives good predictions in relatively dry, cold, low-pressure conditions, such as the Earth's stratosphere. The equation fails at extremely low pressures and short wavelengths, due to dependence on the assumption that the wavelength of the sound in the gas is much longer than the average mean free path between gas molecule collisions. A derivation of these equations will be given in the following section. A graph comparing results of the two equations is at right, using the slightly different value of 331.5 m per second for the speed of sound at 0 degrees Celsius. Details Speed of sound in ideal gases and air For an ideal gas, K the bulk modulus in equations above, equivalent to C, the coefficient of stiffness in solids is given by K equals gamma P displaystyle K equals gamma C D O T P Thus, from the Newton-Laplace equation above, the speed of sound in an ideal gas is given by C equals gamma p rho. Display style C equals sqrt gamma c d o t p over rho, where 
Gamma is the adiabatic index also known as the isentropic expansion factor. It is the ratio of specific heats of a gas at a constant pressure to a gas at a constant volume C P C V displaystyle C underscore P C underscore V and arises because a classical sound wave induces an adiabatic compression, in which the heat of the compression does not have enough time to escape the pressure pulse, and thus contributes to the pressure induced by the compression. P is the pressure. Rho is the density. Using the ideal gas law to replace P with nRT v, and replacing Rho with nM v, the equation for an ideal gas becomes C i d e a l equals gamma p rho equals gamma r t m equals gamma k t m Display style C underscore mathem ideal equals SQRT gamma C D O T P over Rho equals SQRT gamma C D O T R C D O T T over M equals SQRT gamma C D O T K C D O T T over M where Sedil is the speed of sound in an ideal gas. R approximately 8.314 5J mol minus 1K minus 1 is the molar gas constant, universal gas constant. K is the Boltzmann constant. Gamma gamma is the adiabatic index. At room temperature, where thermal energy is fully partitioned into rotation, rotations are fully excited, but quantum effects prevent excitation of vibrational modes, the value is 7 fifths. Topic 1.400 for diatomic molecules, according to kinetic theory. Gamma is actually experimentally measured over a range from 1.399, 1 to 1.403 at 0 degrees Celsius, for air. Gamma is exactly 5 thirds. 1.6667 for monatomic gases such as noble gases, and it is approximately 1.3 for triatomic molecule gases. T is the absolute temperature. M is the molar mass of the gas. The mean molar mass for dry air is about 0.028, 964, 5 kg per mole. N is the number of moles. M is the mass of a single molecule. This equation applies only when the sound wave is a small perturbation on the ambient condition, and the certain other noted conditions are fulfilled, as noted below. Calculated values for care have been found to vary slightly from experimentally determined values. Newton famously considered the speed of sound before most of the development of thermodynamics and so incorrectly used isothermal calculations instead of adiabatic. His result was missing the factor of gamma but was otherwise correct. Numerical substitution of the above values gives the ideal gas approximation of sound velocity for gases, which is accurate at relatively low gas pressures and densities for air, this includes standard earth sea level conditions. Also, for diatomic gases the use of gamma equals 1.4000 requires that the gas exists in a temperature range high enough that rotational heat capacity is fully excited i.e., molecular rotation is fully used as a heat energy partition 
or reservoir, but at the same time the temperature must be low enough that molecular vibrational modes contribute no heat capacity i.e., insignificant heat goes into vibration, as all vibrational quantum modes above the minimum energy mode, have energies too high to be populated by a significant number of molecules at this temperature. For air, these conditions are fulfilled at room temperature, and also temperatures considerably below room temperature see tables below. See the section on gases in specific heat capacity for a more complete discussion of this phenomenon. For air, we introduce the shorthand R equals R M A I R display style R underscore asterisk equals R M underscore mathrm air. In addition, we switch to the Celsius temperature. Th display style var theta equals T minus 273.15, which is useful to calculate air speed in the region near 0 degrees Celsius, about 273 Kelvin. Then, for dry air, C I D E A L equals gamma R T equals gamma R TH plus two hundred seventy three point one five Display style C underscore mathem ideal equals SQRT gamma C D O T R underscore asterisk C D O T T equals SQRT gamma C D O T R underscore asterisk C D O T var theta plus two hundred seventy three point one five C I D E a L equals gamma R two hundred seventy three point one five one plus TH two hundred seventy three point one five Display style C underscore mathem ideal equals SQRT gamma CDOTR underscore asterisk CDOT two hundred seventy three point one five CDOT SQRT one plus FRAC var theta two hundred seventy three point one five where TH display style var theta Theta is the temperature in degrees Celsius degree C. Substituting numerical values R equals 8.314 510 J M O L K Display style R equals 8 Three hundred fourteen five hundred ten tilde mathem J mole C D O T K for the molar gas constant in J per mole Kelvin and M A I R equals zero point zero two eight nine hundred sixty four five K G M O L display style M underscore mathem air equals zero point zero two eight nine hundred sixty four five tilde mathem kilogram per mole for the mean molar mass of air in kilogram and using the ideal diatomic gas value of gamma equals one point four zero 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 we have C a I R equals three hundred thirty one point three one plus TH two hundred seventy three point one five M S 
Display style C underscore Mathem air equals three hundred thirty one point three tilde tilde SQRT one plus FRAC VAR theta two hundred seventy three point one five tilde 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 Mathem meter per second. Finally, Taylor expansion of the remaining square root in TH display style VAR theta yields C a I R equals three hundred thirty one three one plus TH two two hundred seventy three point one five M S Display style C underscore Mathem air equals three hundred thirty one point three approximately one plus FRAC VAR theta two C D O T two hundred seventy three point one five tilde 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 Mathem meter per second C A I R equals three hundred thirty one point three Plus zero point six zero six THM S Display style C underscore Mathem air equals three hundred thirty one point three plus zero point six zero six CDOT VAR theta tilde 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 Mathem meter per second. The above derivation includes the first two equations given in the Practical formula for dry air. Section above. Topic: Effects due to wind shear. The speed of sound varies with temperature. Since temperature and sound velocity normally decrease with increasing altitude, sound is refracted upward, away from listeners on the ground, creating an acoustic shadow at some distance from the source. Wind shear of 4 m, skm, can produce refraction equal to a typical temperature lapse rate of 7.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. Higher values of wind gradient will refract sound downward toward the surface in the downwind direction, eliminating the acoustic shadow on the downwind side. This will increase the audibility of sounds downwind. This downwind refraction effect occurs because there is a wind gradient, the sound is not being carried along by the wind. For sound propagation, the exponential variation of wind speed with height can be defined as follows. U H equals U zero H zeta display style U H equals U zero H caret zeta d U d H H equals zeta U H H display style frac mathrm d u mathrm d h h equals zeta frac u h h, where u h is the speed of the wind at height h, zeta is the exponential coefficient based on ground surface roughness, typically between 0.08 and 0.52. Du per deci Henry H is the expected wind gradient at height H. In the 1862 American Civil War Battle of Iuka, an acoustic shadow, believed to have been enhanced by a northeast wind, kept two divisions of Union soldiers out of the battle, because they could not hear the sounds of battle only 10 kilometers 6 miles downwind. Tables. In the standard atmosphere, T0 is 273. 15K. Topic: 0 degrees Celsius. 
32 degrees Fahrenheit, giving a theoretical value of 331. 3 meters per second equals 1086. 9 feet per second equals 1,193 kilometers per hour. Topic: 741.1 miles per hour. 644.0 kN. Values ranging from 331.3 to 331.6 meters per second may be found in reference literature. However, T20 is 293. 15k. Topic: 20 degrees Celsius. 68 degrees Fahrenheit, giving a value of 343. 2 meters per second. Equals 1126. 0 feet per second equals 1236 kilometers per hour. Topic. 767.8 miles per hour. 667.2 kN T25 is 298. 15K 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit, giving a value of 346. 1 meter per second equals 1135 6 feet per second equals 1246 kilometers per hour topic 774.3 miles per hour 672.8 kN. In fact, assuming an ideal gas, the speed of sound c depends on temperature only, not on the pressure or density, since these change in lockstep for a given temperature and cancel out. Air is almost an ideal gas. The temperature of the air varies with altitude, giving the following variations in the speed of sound using the standard atmosphere. Actual conditions may vary. Given normal atmospheric conditions, the temperature, and thus speed of sound, varies with altitude. Topic. Effect of frequency and gas composition Topic. General physical considerations The medium in which a sound wave is traveling does not always respond adiabatically, and as a result, the speed of sound can vary with frequency. The limitations of the concept of speed of sound due to extreme attenuation are also of concern. The attenuation which exists at sea level for high frequencies applies to successively lower frequencies as atmospheric pressure decreases, or as the mean free path increases. For this reason, the concept of speed of sound except for frequencies approaching zero progressively loses its range of applicability at high altitudes. The standard equations for the speed of sound apply with reasonable accuracy only to situations in which the wavelength of the sound wave is considerably longer than the mean free path of molecules in a gas. The molecular composition of the gas contributes both as the mass m of the molecules, and their heat capacities, and so both have an influence on speed of sound. In general, at the same molecular mass, monatomic gases have slightly higher speed of sound over 9% higher, because they have a higher gamma 5 thirds. Topic. 1.66 then diatomics do 7 fifths 1.4 thus at the same molecular mass the speed of sound of a monatomic gas goes up by a factor of c 
G A S M O N A T O M I C C G A S D I A T O M I C equals five three seven five equals twenty five twenty one equals one point zero nine one Display style C underscore Mathem gas monatomic over C underscore Mathem gas diatomic equals SQRT five thirds over seven fifths equals SQRT twenty five over twenty one equals one point zero nine one L dots. This gives the 9% difference, and would be a typical ratio for speeds of sound at room temperature in helium versus deuterium, each with a molecular weight of 4. Sound travels faster in helium than deuterium because adiabatic compression heats helium more since the helium molecules can store heat energy from compression only in translation, but not rotation. Thus helium molecules, monatomic molecules travel faster in a sound wave and transmit sound faster. Sound travels at about 70% of the mean molecular speed in gases, the figure is 75% in monatomic gases and 68% in diatomic gases. Note that in this example we have assumed that temperature is low enough that heat capacities are not influenced by molecular vibration see heat capacity. However, vibrational modes simply cause gammas which decrease toward 1, since vibration modes in a polyatomic gas give the gas additional ways to store heat which do not affect temperature, and thus do not affect molecular velocity and sound velocity. Thus, the effect of higher temperatures and vibrational heat capacity acts to increase the difference between the speed of sound in monatomic versus polyatomic molecules, with the speed remaining greater in monatomics. <laughs> Practical application to air By far the most important factor influencing the speed of sound in air is temperature. The speed is proportional to the square root of the absolute temperature, giving an increase of about 0.6 m per second per degree Celsius. For this reason, the pitch of a musical wind instrument increases as its temperature increases. The speed of sound is raised by humidity but decreased by carbon dioxide. The difference between 0% and 100% humidity is about 1.5 m per second at standard pressure and temperature, but the size of the humidity effect increases dramatically with temperature. The carbon dioxide content of air is not fixed, due to both carbon pollution and human breath, e.g., in the air blown through wind instruments. The dependence on frequency and pressure are normally insignificant in practical applications. In dry air, the speed of sound increases by about 0.1 m per second as the frequency rises from 10 Hz to 100 Hz. For audible frequencies above 100 Hz it is relatively constant. Standard values of the speed of sound are quoted in the limit of low frequencies, where the wavelength is large compared to the mean free path. Mach number Mach number, a useful quantity in aerodynamics, is the ratio of air speed to the local speed of sound. At altitude, for reasons explained, Mach number is a function of temperature. Aircraft flight instruments, however, operate using pressure differential to compute Mach number, not temperature. 
The assumption is that a particular pressure represents a particular altitude and, therefore, a standard temperature. Aircraft flight instruments need to operate this way because the stagnation pressure sensed by a pitot tube is dependent on altitude as well as speed. Topic: Experimental methods. A range of different methods exist for the measurement of sound in air. The earliest reasonably accurate estimate of the speed of sound in air was made by William Durham and acknowledged by Isaac Newton. Durham had a telescope at the top of the tower of the Church of St. Lawrence in Upminster, England. On a calm day, a synchronized pocket watch would be given to an assistant who would fire a shotgun at a predetermined time from a conspicuous point some miles away, across the countryside. This could be confirmed by telescope. He then measured the interval between seeing gunsmoke and arrival of the sound using a half-second pendulum. The distance from where the gun was fired was found by triangulation, and simple division, distance, time, provided velocity. Lastly, by making many observations, using a range of different distances, the inaccuracy of the half-second pendulum could be averaged out, giving his final estimate of the speed of sound. Modern stopwatches enable this method to be used today over distances as short as 200 to 400 meters, and not needing something as loud as a shotgun. Single-shot timing methods The simplest concept is the measurement made using two microphones and a fast recording device such as a digital storage scope. This method uses the following idea. If a sound source and two microphones are arranged in a straight line, with the sound source at one end, then the following can be measured. The distance between the microphones X, called microphone basis. The time of arrival between the signals delay reaching the different microphones T. Then V equals X T equals Topic Other methods equals in these methods, the time measurement has been replaced by a measurement of the inverse of time frequency. Kuntz tube is an example of an experiment which can be used to measure the speed of sound in a small volume. It has the advantage of being able to measure the speed of sound in any gas. This method uses a powder to make the nodes and antinodes visible to the human eye. This is an example of a compact experimental setup. A tuning fork can be held near the mouth of a long pipe which is dipping into a barrel of water. In this system it is the case that the pipe can be brought to resonance if the length of the air column in the pipe is equal to 1 plus 2 n lambda, 4 where n is an integer. As the antinodal point for the pipe at the open end is slightly outside the mouth of the pipe it is best to find two or more points of resonance and then measure half a wavelength between these. Here it is the case that v equals f lambda equals topic high precision measurements in air equals the effect of impurities can be significant when making high precision measurements. Chemical desiccants can be used to dry the air, but will, in turn, contaminate the sample. The air can be dried cryogenically, but this has the effect of removing the carbon dioxide as well, therefore many high-precision measurements are performed with air free of carbon dioxide rather than with natural air. A 2002 review found that a 1963 measurement by Smith and Harlow using a cylindrical resonator gave the most probable value of the standard speed of sound to date. The experiment was done with air from which the carbon dioxide had been removed, but the result was then corrected for this effect so as to be applicable to real air. 
The experiments were done at 30 degrees Celsius but corrected for temperature in order to report them at 0 degrees Celsius. The result was 331.45 plus or minus 0.01 meters per second for dry air at STP, for frequencies from 93 Hz to 1500 Hz. equals topic Non-gaseous media equals 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 topic speed of sound in solids equals equals topic three-dimensional solids. In a solid, there is a non-zero stiffness both for volumetric deformations and shear deformations. Hence, it is possible to generate sound waves with different velocities dependent on the deformation mode. Sound waves generating volumetric deformations compression and shear deformations shearing are called pressure waves, longitudinal waves and shear waves, transverse waves, respectively. In earthquakes, the corresponding seismic waves are called P waves, primary waves, and S waves, secondary waves, respectively. The sound velocities of these two types of waves propagating in a homogeneous three-dimensional solid are respectively given by C S O L I D P equals k plus 4 3 g rho equals e 1 minus new rho 1 plus new 1 minus Two new display style c underscore mathrm solid p equals sqrt frac k plus frac four three g row equals sqrt frac e one new row one plus new one to two new c s o L I D S equals G row display style C underscore mathrm solid S equals sqrt frac G row where K is the bulk modulus of the elastic materials. G is the shear modulus of the elastic materials. E is the Young's modulus. Rho is the density. Nu is Poisson's ratio. The last quantity is not an independent one, as E equals 3K 1 minus 2 nu. Note that the speed of pressure waves depends both on the pressure and shear resistance properties of the material, while the speed of shear waves depends on the shear properties only. Typically, pressure waves travel faster in materials than do shear waves, and in earthquakes this is the reason that the onset of an earthquake is often preceded by a quick upward-downward shock, before arrival of waves that produce a side-to-side -side motion. For example, for a typical steel alloy, K. Topic. 170 GPA, G. 80 GPa and Rho. Equals 7,700 kg per cubic meter, yielding a compressional speed C solid, P of 6,000 m per second. This is in reasonable agreement with C solid, P measured experimentally at 5,930 m per second for a possibly different type of steel. 
The shear speed C solid, S is estimated at 3200 meters per second using the same numbers. Equals Topic One dimensional solids Equals the speed of sound for pressure waves in stiff materials such as metals is sometimes given for long rods of the material in question, in which the speed is easier to measure. In rods where their diameter is shorter than a wavelength, the speed of pure pressure waves may be simplified and is given by C S O L I D equals e rho display style c underscore mathrm solid equals sqrt frac e rho where e is young's modulus this is similar to the expression for shear waves save that young's modulus replaces the shear modulus this speed of sound for pressure waves in long rods will always be slightly less than the same speed in homogeneous three-dimensional solids, and the ratio of the speeds in the two different types of objects depends on Poisson's ratio for the material. Topic: <laughs> Speed of sound in liquids. In a fluid, the only non-zero stiffness is to volumetric deformation a fluid does not sustain shear forces. Hence the speed of sound in a fluid is given by C F L U I D equals K Rho Display style C underscore mathrm fluid equals sqrt frac k rho, where k is the bulk modulus of the fluid. Topic: Water. In fresh water, sound travels at about 1,481 meters per second at 20 degrees Celsius. See the external links section below for online calculators. Applications of underwater sound can be found in sonar, acoustic communication, and acoustical oceanography. Topic: <laughs> Seawater. In salt water that is free of air bubbles or suspended sediment, sound travels at about 1,500 meters per second, 1,500.235 meters per second at 1,000 kilopascals, 10 degrees Celsius, and 3% salinity by one method. The speed of sound in seawater depends on pressure, hence depth, temperature, a change of 1 degree Celsius to 4 meters per second, and salinity, a change of 1 per mil to 1 meter per second, and empirical equations have been derived to accurately calculate the speed of sound from these variables. Other factors affecting the speed of sound are minor. Since in most ocean regions temperature decreases with depth, the profile of the speed of sound with depth decreases to a minimum at a depth of several hundred meters. Below the minimum, sound speed increases again, as the effect of increasing pressure overcomes the effect of decreasing temperature right. For more information see Dusha et al. A simple empirical equation for the speed of sound in sea water with reasonable accuracy for the world's oceans is due to Mackenzie. C T S Z equals O one plus O two T plus O 3 t 2 plus o 4 t 3 plus o 5 s minus 
35 plus a 6 z plus a 7 z 2 plus a 8 t s minus 35 plus a 9 t z 3 Display style C T S Z equals a underscore one plus A underscore two T plus A underscore three T carrot two plus A underscore four T carrot three plus A underscore five S thirty five plus A underscore six Z plus A underscore seven Z carrot two plus A underscore eight T S thirty five plus A underscore 9 t z caret 3 where t is the temperature in degrees celsius s is the salinity in parts per thousand z is the depth in meters the constants a1 a2 a9 are a1 equals 1 Four hundred forty eight point nine six out two equals four point five nine one out three equals minus five point three zero four times ten minus two out four equals two point three seven four times ten minus four out five equals one point three four zero out six equals one 630 times 10 minus 2, a 7 equals 1.675 times 10 minus 7, a 8 equals minus 1.025 times 10 minus 2, a 9 equals minus 7.139 times 10 minus 13. Display style begin aligned a underscore 1 and equals 1448.96 and a underscore 2 and equals 4.59. Nine one and a underscore three and equals minus five point three zero four times ten carat minus two a underscore four and equals two point three seven four times ten carat minus four and a underscore five and equals one point three four zero and a underscore six and equals one point six three zero times ten carat minus two a underscore seven and equals one point six seven Seven five times ten carat minus seven and a underscore eight and equals minus one point zero two five times ten carat minus two and a underscore nine and equals minus seven point one three nine times ten carat minus thirteen and aligned with check value fifteen fifty seven hundred forty four meters per second for T. Topic twenty five degrees Celsius S thirty five parts per thousand Z equals one thousand meters. This equation has a standard error of zero point zero seven zero meters per second for salinity between twenty five and forty ppt. See technical guides. Speed of sound in seawater for an online calculator. Note, the sound speed versus depth graph does not correlate directly to the McKenzie formula. This is due to the fact that the temperature and salinity varies at different depths. When T and S are held constant, the formula itself it always increasing 
Other equations for the speed of sound in seawater are accurate over a wide range of conditions, but are far more complicated, e.g., that by V. A. del Grosso and the Chen Malero Lee equation. Topic. Speed of sound in plasma The speed of sound in a plasma for the common case that the electrons are hotter than the ions but not too much hotter is given by the formula C here C S equals gamma Z K T E M I one two equals nine point seven nine times ten three gamma Z T E mu one two M S Display style C underscore S equals Gamma Z K T underscore Mathem E per meter underscore Mathem I carrot one half equals nine point seven nine times ten carrot three Gamma Z T underscore E mu carrot one half tilde Mathem meter per second where M I is the ion mass Mu is the ratio of ion mass to proton mass mu equals m i m p. T is the electron temperature. Z is the charge state. K is Boltzmann constant. Gamma is the adiabatic index. In contrast to a gas, the pressure and the density are provided by separate species, the pressure by the electrons and the density by the ions. The two are coupled through a fluctuating electric field. Topic: Gradients. When sound spreads out evenly in all directions in three dimensions, the intensity drops in proportion to the inverse square of the distance. However, in the ocean, there is a layer called the deep sound channel or so far channel which can confine sound waves at a particular depth. In the so far channel, the speed of sound is lower than that in the layers above and below. Just as light waves will refract towards a region of higher index, sound waves will refract towards a region where their speed is reduced. The result is that sound gets confined in the layer, much the way light can be confined to a sheet of glass or optical fiber. Thus, the sound is confined in essentially two dimensions. In two dimensions the intensity drops in proportion to only the inverse of the distance. This allows waves to travel much further before being undetectably faint. A similar effect occurs in the atmosphere. Project Mogul successfully used this effect to detect a nuclear explosion at a considerable distance. Topic. See also. Acoustoelastic effect. Elastic wave. Second sound. Sonic boom. Sound barrier. Speeds of sound of the elements Underwater acoustics Vibrations <laughs>